Hi guys, welcome to another episode of It Lurks Below. My name is Wilfred, and today I would like to play a little bit of Pris for you guys, uh, and also just to you know wrap up on where I was before and uh, showing you this cup area that I was struggling to contain, but somehow managed to do it. Now, um, you know, my surface is being attacked or invaded, so I have like monster invading my uh, my my home area. But the weird thing is that if I take some kind of beaches like this type, the mob will just fall under it and they will just let you kill it quite, you know, quite easily. Uh, otherwise, these are quite dangerous actually because some of them shoot you quite hard, um, as you will see later on. But uh, yeah, after that, it's fine. Just I don't mind easy. That's <laughs> that's a little bit clever as well. Just like find a place whereby they can't get you while you can get them. Right. So. Uh, that is it really. Now how did I contain the situation is that I managed to surgically remove all the areas around the creep or the teeth or whatever, teeth corruption or whatever it is. So after you've done it, like, uh, like all the red items are being like isolated, it doesn't spread somehow, I don't know. I don't know whether it was because of that or because of uh, something else. But you know, all this area cannot be digged through. Uh, so basically, you know, whatever you know, if it gets spread, it means that you cannot modify the uh, the terrain at all. So that's about it. All right. So now, uh, in this episode, I'd like to just show you my new home because there has been a wipe in the character for close beta. So uh, I'm being forced to roll another character character, which uh, I mean, there's really no no complaint. It's kind of fun to sort of like start over all over again. And uh, this time round, I'm playing a cleric instead of a bard. Now, to be honest, I think I kind of like the uh, you know bard more than cleric uh, in some sense, but uh, you will see what I mean in just a bit. Now, this is my new home, and <laughs> you know there are some trees there on top. Uh, there's a door that you, I could like open up here, um, and uh, these are all the blueberry kind of thing. Uh, the food itself, I have got something like the. Uh, you know, I've got a cow here as well. Don't ask me how he got here. I've got all the vegetable, whatever farm below. So um, I'm not going to do it now. I'll do it later, later in, in a little bit. Uh, that's my banker and that's my like chef here. I, I can sleep here as well. So, you know, it's my home and it's kind of lovely. And uh, today there's a lot of action as well. I managed to find a place where, you know, it should have a kind of treasure chest once I managed to... Um, you know, do up, clean up all the monster inside the contained area. But uh, you see what I mean. So now I'm level about around eight, I think. Um, still very low level. Uh, I, I'm just trying to get my way through. Now here would be a place whereby I can get, um, you know, some some good treasure. But uh, here there's a shrine. So I think I would like to get a shrine because shrine is a very nice buff that I would like to have. But uh, in order to get there, I will need to sort of like, uh, you know, go up there as well. Now, there are many ways to do this one. Um, the the easiest way is uh, actually, you know what, there's quite a lot. You know, that there's, there's a few guns. I would like to demonstrate some guns to you um, that is actually rather interesting as well. Uh, let me just demonstrate a gun. There's one called re Reflective. And Reflective is the one that you could actually, like you can, uh, you know, Reflect the, the, the gun from one to the like you can if you if you do it right you can actually get 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 them to uh, You know get the angle right you can actually get uh, Get it to bounce like like this one here. So it's very very funny uh, very very neat. I can't like it but the problem with this sort of uh, uh, This sort of gun is that it doesn't give you the what is this guy man uh, mushroom Oops. Yeah, the problem is that it, this our gun doesn't have any uh, affixes to it. So, you know, maybe it's just the way how powerful it is. Like, you can just bounce it here. Um, you know, and, and I find it kind of nice and neat. Like, this round here, you can just bounce it, like, maybe. Yep. You see, when you bounce it well, I mean, it doesn't really hit you at all if you if you do it right. And I find it extremely satisfying once I get, <laughs> get it bounced around. So, it's one of my favorite guns, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite guns at all. I haven't played any games like, uh, or maybe I haven't replayed this Joran, but I find that the reflective gun is really interesting. 
Now I'm going to just get the uh, get the shrine here, and after that I would uh, go and uh, I, I I'll go and uh, go over to the other side where the dungeon is. So I feel empowered. That's what I thought I would be anyway. Um, not thinking any otherwise. Uh, now how do I get to the other side where that I can take my way through, which I'm going to do it right now if I do it fast enough. And uh, da, 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 okay. Uh, there's quite a, quite a few way to, to get there. Do a Mario thingy, you can do that too. Uh, just take my way through, basically. A bit dark here. Um. Okay, so... So the mobs are there waiting for me. It's a bit dark here, I could actually light a candle actually. Um. No big deal. Uh, so that is the thing. Now, uh, just to get the terrain right, there's something up there as well, something there as well. So what I'll do, I'll just make an opening uh, big enough for me to shoot something across the... Uh, maybe i just do it here. All right, so I'm just going to do an opening here. Yeah, I mean, I can use the terrain to my to my advantage and I've got a crystal as well let me eat some pie to replenish my health mm. I've got a crystal as well and the crystal give me uh, oh wow weapon minimum damage increase my by eight uh, that is actually not too bad well increase the minimum doesn't increase the cap uh, which is not too bad so I could actually use it first and after that if I get another better one I would just like craft it so I'm just going to use it right now here. So everything is being in a in a in a green kind of like um uh green kind of uh, quality. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh just have to be careful a little bit. Like dude Yeah No it doesn't work. <laughs> I was hoping that it would bounce it to him, uh, that would be really awesome. Yep, so that's it. So a bit of um yeah, it's a reflective gun by the way. And by the way, I'm a priest, so I could actually heal myself with the divine uh, divina. Okay, so this is the ancient power called Divina. Divina is the one that I could actually help heal myself. And uh, let me see what I can do here. Maybe I could do something smart here. It does have a range, so okay. Let me just. <laughs> Man, this make it so OP. Uh. I mean, if you do it right, it's actually quite fun. If you ricochet to the right places. So I have uh, level up as well. Okay, there's another gun, poison gun, uh, another crystal here. What crystal is this? Healthy crystal. I think this one is to increase health. Um, so if I manage to clear the whole thing, they will give me something, uh, a reward, like a chest card reward. I'm trying to get there, so just bear with me. Um, to do that, you need a couple of things here. So let's, uh, let's do the whole thing again. I mean, you know. Yep. Ooh, there's a blue crystal. This one is nice. It give me the uh, actor power plus two, mana plus whatever it is. So yeah, I mean that's good. Um, well, this is only twenty five. So I'm just uh, I'm just converting them into uh, crystal shard for crafting of runes later. So I'm gonna destroy this one, and it'll just go into there. Uh, no need to pick up too many things. All right. So there's a, there's a name monster there. But it should be rather easy to take care of it. Whoa, what is this? Scroll of Bling. Nice. Another scroll. Okay, so now I need to go up there. Let me just eat something first. I'm buffed up with my uh, regeneration. I'm empowered as well. That's why, you know, I, it looks easy because I'm actually pow pretty powerful right now uh, because of the, the shrine that I'm having. Yep. So. Well, it's M drill. Um, it's 
See, after that, there's a chest right there, and there's a gun there as well. Um, so the so the loot I'm getting is here. Uh, let me see. Rubber lightning wine of haste. A very fast recharge time. Uh, resistant to lightning. Attack power increased by twenty. Attack speed increased by twenty percent. The uh, that is actually quite nice. But I've got an item that le I, I level nine kind of like a skull start uh, stake, uh, which is a cold damage, and it does something like the uh, increased magic fund as well. So normally I would like to use this one because it give me more magic fund. But I thought I would give you an idea of what the uh, you know what the thing is when it comes to um, you know the reflective kind of like a uh, gameplay. So well. It just, uh, you know, it's not that fantastic, maybe because of the magic fund or lack of that make it not too exciting. So after that, you just have to find where is the next kind of thing to, to discover. So I've done up the area here, I've done up the area here. I think more or less I need to go deeper perhaps to get the next big thing uh, because this one will wrap around to that one. Unless I want to go towards this side, which I don't think there's any big dungeon over there. So I think I have to go down somehow. Uh, and you know what? Go down my shell. So I think in this video, I'm going to just, I'm just going to go all the way down, and the uh, and <laughs> and let you see some exciting stuff. I mean, you know, that's the whole thing. Now I am inclined to get some copper here. Uh, bear with me because I foresee I'll be uh, equipping some of this crystal that I'm getting, and the only way to do that because uh, you need a base car armor, which is white item. Uh, and to convert into a magical one with the shard that you have, like for example the uh, the blue one I've got here, uh, will give me the kind of um, uh, the blue one. Yeah, okay, so this is another blueberry pie. So the blue one here will give me like you know it convert the white item into a blue item or a purple item whatnot. So and since the beta they always have the wipe, so I'm not really like you know worry about. Um, whether whether or not I should be, I should be uh, uh, using it because you know if I don't use it, they wipe the character anyway, which is fine. I'm not complaining, by the way. I mean, I understand it's close beta, so but I just need to get some copper along the way just to make sure that I've got uh, enough you know materials to craft. Uh, yeah, so just bear with me a little bit. Uh, that's part of the game, and I've been uh, I think twelve hours in this game so far, having a lot of fun. Um, Probably I have more fun with Bard, but uh, I mean this is is all right. Maybe maybe after after I got the second power, ancient weapon, then our ancient item, then I'll get a little bit more excited about about the game because the Bard is fantastic when it comes to the second one. Um, so I hope I'm I'm hoping that the uh, the cleric has something exciting as well. Oh man, this guy keep dropping down. All right, done. Okay, let me just like uh let's go down here. So, all right. Okay. Now there's another dungeon, potentially something uh, fantastic. So we'll see. And the uh, wow, there's a lot of mobs here. That's whew, that's really good. Okay, more treasure chest. Now this is not a reflective one, so I'm not... Let me just eat some pie here. Well, it's actually quite a bad idea because I should actually... Uh, I should uh, put the can candle first because you know this area need to be I click the wrong button because <laughs> I'm using an MMO mouse right now and <laughs> alright so this is the general parameter of it there are some doors I could open and uh, get get excited about the um, hmm. Alright, I'm a bit poisoned. But in general, I can heal myself if I need to. Um, okay. Let me see. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> I think getting a little bit too enthusiastic with that. Okay, uh, so that is done. I need to... Now, I, you know, the th one, one word of warning is that if, if, you, if you tend to just like, um, you know, jump right in, you, you end up quite bad, I think. But I'm calmly that because I'm a cleric, I can actually heal myself. I'm healing myself right now. You see, the health does go down for quite a fair bit. Um, it's some uh, pie, okay, and I could level up as well. I think this time around, I probably go for the power, except you know, kind of like attack power. I think it's quite, quite, quite nice. So uh, let me work my way through. Um, hmm. Okay, need some torch. Now I do need to go up there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, what's the best way to do this, huh, guys? Uh, I think I'll just need to do it the hard way. Um, yeah, this is a bit uh, tedious because I need to take my way through up. Going down is easier than going up. Uh, gravity and all. Oops. Okay, so that is it. Yeah, I got I fo freeze him. There's another gun, level eight gun, but it's a green one, so it looks something like the poison power. But I think mine le level nine is still the best with the magic item. Fine. Okay, I need to rest actually, and I can't rest here, so I'll need to go back. Hmm. 12 or, 12 or minutes to um, collect all these things. Let me think. Um, some of them, plus intelligence, resist fire, I could actually destroy this one. Hit point. Ooh, 161 actually. Oh wow, 15. So immediately, um, you know, these are much better than the one I have, um, like this, these two here. So I, I'm, I'm kind of like tempted to do something about it. Mm, okay, never mind. And the, uh, I, I'm also very tempted to just do my chore here. Four minutes. Oh man, I better do my chore as well. Okay, just bear with me, guys. It's part of the game. Um, I like the reflective one. Uh, part of the game is to just um, sort out all these things actually. The, okay, this one I can sell as well. Uh, I've got a piece of meat here, by the way. <laughs> uh, seven I can sell. Alright, um, then I can head to the bank and get the stuff here. Um, let me think what I need to do. I need to just put the stuff inside here. I think some of it is I could just put it in here. There's some wheat here. Um, I think these two I can also put it here, there. Um, this two I don't need. Well, okay, this one I don't need. And the uh, the one actually I could have uh, taken it away. Um, 18, 10. Okay, I need to make some food as well, actually. So uh, normally, I uh, just want to let you kind of know what is the normal day to day job. Uh, it's not all shooting and all, you know, thing that I do. Uh, I, I know sometimes when you see me play, it's a lot of shooting excitement, uh, but there's a little bit of farming as well, which I don't necessarily enjoy too much. But after a while, it's, uh, it becomes just something that you do. So let me just show you what I usually do uh, in between the battle itself, and you, you'll see what I mean. Um, you know, it, it's not... You know, it's like every... Uh, I don't know... 10 or 15 minutes you need to come back here and do this whole thing again again and again uh, just to keep your food on because if you don't have enough food uh, then you die of hunger <laughs> again 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 until you have some food so you know you, you try to do it right and uh, you try to keep planting as well now have I planned too much there yeah, probably I have but um, usually uh, that's what I do 
Um, so this is two, you know what, well, let's just combine these two together anyhow. So uh, there are some food here. Okay, so I need to make some probably like blueberry pie, which I'll do in just a bit. Um, so I'll reserve five here and I'll do five here, but the rest of it I can just like, you know. Um, So it's not that hard. It's not that tedious. It's just one of those things that you try to uh, try to do. Um, you know, after a while, you kind of get get to the right kind of thing. But uh, I mean, not necessarily the best kind of like uh, gameplay when it comes to the kind of thing. But I I think building a base is uh, kind of essential as well. All right, some cabbage. And some wheat. Yeah, so after a while, yes, you know what I mean. After a while, you sort of like get the whole thing. And after that, you would like to just go and cook something, which was the blueberry pie. The one here. Uh, food. And. Uh, right, so this is it. I'm all sorted. And the good thing about this is that once you get it all sorted, um, you could. Um, you could just sell all these things. You see, that, that's where you get all the money. Good money there. Alright, so that is the all the money you have. Get your stuff back here. I, I wish there's a way to save my hot bar so I can just toggle toggle the hot bar. That'll be a lot easier for me to deal with all this like uh, you know management. And uh, the, the, the another thing is that by the time I've done all these things, then my character will get a little bit tired as well. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, but character will get a little bit tired and after that I'll just take another nap uh, before heading to the battlefield actually eat some food take another nap a short nap this one mm. but yep yeah, that's done so now it's back to the action Okay, where was I? I think I've completed everything up there. Mm, then I need to just make sure that I... Yeah, so I'm pretty powerful. Um... Yeah, good thing about the, the other one is that it freezes, so... You see, once I'm done, uh, there's a treasure uh, somewhere. So I just need to find a treasure box over there uh, to see what they have there. All right, so what? Come on, man. <laughs> it's for what? It doesn't open, uh, it doesn't jump to there. Okay, uh, that is the, yay. What? Well, just go. It just go a little bit disappointing. Uh, what? I wish it was something else, but uh, I mean, oh wow, okay guys, I need to show you the crystal, man, okay, so ooh, today is quite productive for you guys. Oh, I wanted to do that uh, in my last video, I mean, before they do the character wipe, I was like hoping that I could show you guys how this thing works, but then uh, they wipe it, so I can't really show it to you. So now, this is fantastic. What? <laughs> they are just like going there to get like killed by me. Okay, so a bit uh, okay, so that's fine. Again, uh, important to see where the enemies are. Yep, done. Well, uh, yep. So these are really good stuff because these are all the crystal. Now I um, how much space I have, man. Um. So the, the good thing about all this crystal is that uh, you can convert your 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 armor into into a blue or purple item. So very likely I'm going to have that. Um, so I'm just going to ooh wow. Well, let me just get one of these because I need to craft my entire set anyway. Uh, I want to see what the purple one will be because that is something that I would definitely use. Hmm. 
Okay, so let me just head over there. Now, let me, let me show you how good the purple one is. Mana plus one, attack power plus one, gain two hit point per hit uh, per second, F ignore 50% target armor. So it's perfect for my, you know, for, for my, well, for my character, or for any character actually, uh, priest or not priest. So, yeah, so that is the, uh, you know, the reason why I'm very excited to show you guys how this thing works. Now, there's a mushroom there. I I'll find out what mushrooms are. Yeah, and another good thing about this game is that, you know, all these, all these like uh, magical items are kind of like, you know, they auto light up so you can't miss it, even though it is dark. Um, so, you know, you, you just go directly to there. So it's kind of nice gameplay, small things, but uh, it's sometimes it's a small thing that matters, um, you know. It's it just I wish that I had more inventory space. <laughs> it's never enough when in any Mr. Bravix game, it's always, always very hard to to uh, <laughs> to deal with inventory. I, I think in a way he wants us to make decision like, you know, how much to how much to keep, how much not, you know, kind of thing. I think, all right. Ah, come on. Okay, so there's one more there and there's a mushroom. So I just want to go up and get the uh, the easiest way is to go up like that, and uh, well, who up there, man? So I uh, I can heal myself, of course. That's no big deal. I'm a priest or cleric, same thing, I guess. Well, that guy is really annoying. Um, So yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoy this uh, sort of like, you know, just a short episode episode on what this game is like. Um, you know, I'm very excited about this game because, you know, I, I still haven't really seen the entire kind of like a uh, beta yet. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, there, there are actually a lot more uh, when it comes to this part. And I'm just going to clear out all these things and... Um, you know, get some mine here, get a shrine here, kill off all these mobs here. Um, and, and just, you know, I, I hope that next video I can show you a second ancient kind of items I have right now. I'm just so close to uh, level level 10 actually before I can get there. So I'll save it for another video for you guys. And I hope you enjoy whatever you're doing and have a good weekend. Goodbye.